Right, just before Arsene goes, I'd just like to invite um, John Cross up from the Daily Mirror, one of your friends, Arsene, from the media. <laughs> occasionally, <laughs> occasionally. What, Arsene, I just wanted to, to say a few words on behalf of, um, uh, of all the members of the press here today. So I've written you want to make the day a really emotional. I've, I've, written, I've, written, I've written a speech. I hope you'll forgive me. I'm, I'm a better... Um, I'm a, get the microphone out. I'm a better um, reader than I am a sort of a, a, a writer than I should, should say a speech maker. But, um, Arsene, it really has been our pleasure working with you over the last 22 years. I know we've had some ups and downs, but my word, we'll miss this and we'll certainly miss you. You changed the game in this country from delivering fantastic football, glorious football, amazing memories, to the stadium we now stand in, as well as incredibly memorable sound bites, despite often claiming never to have seen it, of course. Uh, we in English football owe you a huge debt of gratitude, we really do. I think, and I hope you appreciate, within the, the, the tributes of the last few weeks, there has been a genuine and very heartfelt affection towards you, not just from the football fr fraternity, the luminaries and the greats of the game, but also those amongst all of us in this room reporting on it towards you. I've been very fortunate, uh, I must say, to, to have covered you and Arsenal throughout the last 20 years and having watched the club for an awful lot longer, I can honestly say they've never had it so good. There's no escaping, there's been some criticism along the way, but the fact you never hold a grudge, never duck a question and are always respectful just shows what a class act you are as, as both a human being and as a football manager. You've touched us with your humility and compassion when one of our own, Danny Fulbrook, passed away, the club, led by yourself, made a wonderful gesture, which the family, who have asked me to pass on a letter, which I will do so, will never forget. It's the same for others. Your personal heartfelt words to give to Dermot Drummond's family last year touched him and gave him great comfort. You've touched lives way beyond football. The Football Writers Association will never forget your intervention to raise money for the victims of the Grenfell Tower uh, our, uh, at our event last year. When your presence was announced, it instantly became a sellout. That is what people think of you. And it's why the FWA, along with myself and a few others, would like to show our appreciation and present you uh, with this. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> present you. I told you I wasn't very good at making speeches. Um, present you with this very special, special bottle of wine here. I know, you're, you, I know you know your red wine, so I hope you will like it, and even more so that it comes from 2004, so it will never be beaten. You've been, you've, been, you've been wonderful for me personally and for so many other people in this room. Arsene, thank you. Thank you very much. It's heavy. Thank you. Thank you very much. forced me now to say I will miss you as well. <laughs> <laughs> what I didn't want to say in fact. But I wish you well and uh, we see each other certainly at uh, big tournaments starting in Russia next uh, month. So it's been a pleasure, not always, but, <laughs> but overall I must say I felt even that you have to do your job, I felt always respect uh, when I was face to face and uh, hopefully we felt that as well from myself. I know that uh, to do your job today, even in the press, is very difficult. And uh, that you had not always a, the choice to really express what you felt. And uh, I know well enough the press as well that it's very difficult. So thank you and uh, wish you good luck in the future and hopefully you will see great games at Arsenal Football Club. Thank you, bye bye.